what is going on everybody today quick video we're doing a little unboxing of this bad boy a new 3ds xl the hyrule edition or as i a person who is not into zelda or link or any of that stuff just calls it the zelda edition now this is a as we look up here an mde version which means it's not the north american release but it is identical to it this was sold in regions like uh, the uae uh, malaysia etc 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 so it may not be as valuable in terms of a collector as the US version, nonetheless it is still one of my favorites. Let's take a look. Alright, so we got the PSP Go out here just so we can uh, see a little size comparison here. This is obviously the box. Now obviously this is not new, it is not sealed, but then again these consoles, uh, even when they came brand new, there never was a really seal of any kind on it. I think maybe they put like a sticker here. In fact, I believe so, because I can feel a little bit of residue there. Um, but I actually had one of these, and I got one of these brand new, the US version. Uh, I think I traded in an Xbox One and all my Xbox One games for it back in the day when Fire Emblem Fates came out. I think that was a good decision. And looking back on the Xbox One versus the 3DS, uh, I think it was a good decision. Nonetheless, let's get into it. Packaging is still in pretty good condition here. I don't want to make it any worse than it already is, though. Here's so I'm being gentle. I believe this one has everything in it still. Let's see if that is true. All right, we've got lift off here. Okay, we got the we got the uh, what is it? The uh, new 3DS. All right, so we got it out here, and I forgot entirely what the word manual was. Uh, I wanted to call this a menu for some reason, but we got it here. It is packaged, which is nice here. So let's go ahead and take that out real quick. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on the stuff inside the box that isn't the console. I know a lot of people that open stuff do. Like they're like, oh, they like they ignore. <laughs> they'll ignore the console for like half an hour and go through all the, like the, the Apple stickers and all the other stupid stuff in the box that no one cares about. Uh, I'm just just showing it because it's here. You know, we got the manual. You know how to use a 3DS if you're watching this video, and if you don't, you can figure it out. Some kind of warning. Who cares? Doesn't matter. Uh, here's the AR cards that came with it. Still in the package here. We're not going to remove those because number one, why would we? And two, I'm never going to use them anyway, so they might as well. Oh no, it is open. Okay, we can take those out later if we would like to. Now, the bad boy itself. Now, as we see here, before we take that out on the box, it does say EC adapter is not included. I don't know if it was like that for every new 3DS XL. You can uh, sound off in the comments below if, if it was the case, but I definitely, both this one and the one I bought originally when it came out did not have an adapter. They relied on you already having a regular 3DS adapter. Alright, moment of truth. This still like holds its shape really good. It seems like it's not been used much at all. This is obviously a used device, but we're going to determine right now about how used it is. That might be kind of hard via video to see. I'm trying to hold it at every angle, but I do not see a scratch on this thing. Oh, there, that's a good angle to get that light reflecting on it. Yeah, I see not a scratch on this thing. There might be a few specks of dust or a fingerprint or two just for me, but I'm having a hard time seeing any scratches of any kind, any like actual damage. There's a couple marks though, but I think those can be wiped off. Let's take a look at the bottom. I got a couple little marks here, probably mostly from my own hands. Stylus here, just make sure it's there and it works and it looks good. Looks good to me, didn't get chewed on by a dog like so many 3DS styluses did. The uh, lot number, the sticker there is still in really, really good condition. It's not yellowed or anything like that. Let's look at the triggers. Nothing much to write home about there. Looking good. Okay. Now, okay, no cartridge in there. Sometimes you get lucky when you buy used consoles and you get a cartridge and then they left in, but no such luck this time. All right, so the outside of this bad boy is beautiful. I'm really happy with it. Let's flip it open and give it an inspection and then turn it on if it has any juice. All right, so screens look good. I do see some like scratching, but it looks like it's on the screen protector itself. 
Same for the upper screen as well. I do see a little bit of like, I don't know if you can tell via the video there, there's a little bit of wearing around the buttons. I don't know if that's just kind of dust that I can maybe wipe away with my finger or with a, you know, an alcohol swab or something like that. But I wouldn't really call that damage of any kind. Obviously the uh, joystick here, it's not discolored really at all, which means it hasn't been used, you know, to death, like so many used devices. I don't think whoever had this previously, for whatever games they played, even used this thing. This thing is zero discoloration of any kind. Looks great. Now, can we... Do we have any power on this thing? I did uh, open this once before and turn it on, obviously when I bought it, just to make sure it worked when I bought it used. But that was phew, at least six or seven months ago, so if this thing has power, I'd be really surprised. Alright, let's do it. Three, two, one. Oh, it's got some some amount of power. Okay. Where do I see my... Do we still got three out of four bars? Man, I miss, I miss devices like this, that if you don't use it, you just don't use it. Even if it's in rest mode, or you just close the clamshell, it keeps its battery. It doesn't just drain and die. Like if I turn my phone off, like press the off button, not completely shut it down, it'll last maybe like what? An extra day, maybe two days, or something like this, or like a regular DS, or a, you know Game Boy Advance, you know those old consoles, even old phones too, to a degree. You turn that bad boy off, <laughs> bad boy. You turn that thing off, and it's just like it will last until the end of time. Like it's it's crazy how good uh, the battery life, even even in gameplay, is on these things. Like we take it, I think we took it for granted then. How good the battery life was obviously games even on mobile devices look a lot better now like you know stuff you play on your phone like call of duty mobile genshin impact you know diablo immortal any of those kind of games look better than anything on the 3ds for sure maybe not in terms of art style but at least in terms of you know raw graphical power but like you play something like that on your phone your phone's getting hot and it's dying in like less than five hours something like this you could play a premier triple a 3ds title on this what i don't i don't have i don't have the math here but maybe what 20 30 40 50 hours depending on the game without needing to charge I, that could be a complete exaggeration but that's just what it feels like with these old devices so we see we got power here let's just double check all our buttons here make sure they work d-pad looks good it's a little wobbly, but I feel like that was just kind of most 3DS XLs. Um, feels good. There's no nothing sticky or anything. Buttons. Oh, the buttons feel absolutely amazing. I have no idea what I clicked. We're just going to kind of go with it. What are we in? Oh, 3DS Soundland. Ooh. Ooh. Yep, it's certainly Soundland. All right, let's get out of this. There we go. Okay, so the buttons work good. Start, select, no stickiness here. Ooh, I didn't think the C-Stick worked in, without being in a game, but I guess it totally does. Okay, C-Stick works. Is that what that's called? Is this called the C-Stick? I guess I'm just calling it that because of the GameCube. I never heard anyone call this anything <laughs> but the nub. That's just what anyone who owned this device called it around me, the nub. So I don't know what it's actually called. But, yep, yeah, all that stuff works. Speakers obviously work. Let's try the 3D. I don't know how well this will show up on video. It'll probably look like crap, but... I can confirm, staring at it with my own two human eyeballs, that this is, in fact, three-dimensional in nature. So that is working. I'm going to turn that off as to not bother anybody. Uh, where's our volume rocker? Forgive me for entirely forgetting where the volume is. Oh, duh, it's literally right up here. I thought it was on the side for some reason. Yep, that works. Not sticky or anything. Nice click at the bottom, as we are used to. Home button, we already tapped that, but let's try it one more time. And when you get a used 3DS model, one of the first things you want to check for, especially if it is like a pretty good condition one like this, where it's not obvious that it's been used to death by, you know, like an eight-year-old child. You can see a little bit of uh, wear on the buttons just from, you know, the oils of, you know, fingers. 
but a lot of times with the wear first shows up especially with people who do not take particularly good care of the device even if it is in good pristine condition like hasn't been used a lot is right along the hinge here you'll see like scraping or scratching whether because of dust because of stuff they put in between or because they're just kind of slamming this thing you know up and down sorry if that like triggered anyone when I did that but that's what people do so you got to check for that kind of stuff definitely obviously the mic down here and again if you're not aware of what's different on the let's bring it back in here the new 3ds XL basically just had a slightly better processor uh, obviously the second little itty bitty joystick here the nub as we call it and a few other little itty bitty things but otherwise mostly similar to the regular 3ds XL there were a couple games that only played on the new 3ds XL I think uh, I know Xenoblade Chronicles was one of them I think Minecraft was also one of them as well obviously because you need the two sticks for Minecraft so that makes total sense I kind of want to go back and play Minecraft on this thing and see what that's like I feel like that would be kind of interesting uh, but nonetheless that is our new 3ds XL the Hyrule edition the good old Zelda boy edition looks beautiful I'm gonna have a hard time actually using this thing though because I don't want to ruin it you know I don't want to get it dirty, and thankfully I do have a few other 3DSs I can use. I have a plain old uh, black one, also a new 3DS XL, which I will use as my daily driver, so to speak. This boy I'm probably going to display, for the most part, keep it in the box. Not that I'm a huge collector, but it just looks so nice. And if you want to buy a new one of these, again, I'm not sure when it comes down to it, the... You know MDE version we have here if it's worth less than the US version generally it's that case with the games I don't know if it's that case with the consoles though so let's box this bad boy back up but yeah in terms of prices if you want the US version of this I think you're looking at bare minimum in this kind of condition I think bare minimum $300 plus shipping and tax so it is certainly not gonna be a cheap endeavor and that's really hard to stomach especially in this day and age when things like the uh, Xbox Series S are $300 or that PS4 digitals are finally in stock at only $400 and you can probably find people who impulse purchased it uh, selling it used for about $350 so if it's your only console purchase you can make this one is gonna be a hard bet but if you are a collector if you do just like the 3DS, if you just like how this one in particular looks, even if you're not a huge fan of it, it's a really nice one to have. Uh, it's probably my favorite design of any of the uh, special Nintendo 3DSs they made, especially for the new 3DS XL. I think it's just the pinnacle of the design and pinnacle of their art abilities for the console. It looks beautiful, it plays its games beautifully, and it's just all around really nice let's finish packing it up here make sure we do it well and that is it that is oh we left this little thing out here customer service you gotta you know just in case the battery melts on us or something while we're storing it and not using it <laughs> but that is it that is the new 3ds XL Hyrule Edition the little unboxing of it here if you would like to see more unboxings more little tech videos more reviews more discussions more any of that kind of stuff feel free to subscribe comment ring ring the bell all that who cares um, and in the comments let me know what kind of stuff you would like to see what kind of devices obviously I have a limited budget in what I can pick up uh, but I do have quite a few devices especially uh, more retro ones like the PSP go here any kind of comparisons you'd like to see any kind of contrast or just opinions you'd like to see you know what's the better value or what are you, what is more interesting if you're into this etc because uh, that's the kind of content uh, that I like doing not necessarily just covering hey what's new or hey you know this is the new game or the new system or the new console there's plenty of people out there that do that so let me know in the comments what you would like to see and thank you all for watching we'll see you next time